In this video, I want to look at a page in its learning. On the screen, you see an example of a page. A page is made up of content blocks, and within those blocks, the teacher decides what information they want to provide to the students. Notice those blocks can be just text, it can involve embedding videos, you can have links to other websites, or you can have files within the blocks. Basically, a page is a very dynamic tool that you can use to create a particular lesson, to house all the resources for a unit so that the students just go to the page to get all of those resources rather than the tree, or you can even use it to build a pathway for a unit. I want to look at how to build this page. To do so, click the green plus add in your tree, and then from your list of items that you can create, choose page. Like you do with all items within its learning, give it a title. So I'm going to call this lesson 1.5. And now you actually just start adding blocks. So I'm going to click here on add content block. Notice there are five different types of blocks that you can add to a page. A file block would literally just be files that you would upload into the block. Images are just pictures that you would upload. Poll would be a multiple choice question that the students would be able to answer and its learning would give you a snapshot of how the students are answering that particular question as a whole. And rich content actually is the most dynamic block possible because it allows you to put text and files and pictures all within that one block. It also allows you to embed videos. So it's the one that I use most often. So I'm going to click rich content. Then you need to title that particular block. So I'm just going to call this one my how-to. Down here in the text box, this is where you can just type information. You can upload a picture. So I click here on the image icon. I can upload an insert, browse to find a picture anywhere on my computer. and upload that particular picture. If I need to insert a file, I can click here on the globe icon, upload file, browse to find whatever file you'd like to put in that particular block. I'm going to grab a random one here. and I click the globe to actually add that file and it'll be linked there. You can continue to add text. Like I said, you can embed videos. We have directions on how to do that later. After I've put everything in my block, I click OK. That block is now added to the page. I can click Add Content Block and then I could add another video. I'm just going to put an example here. I'm just going to say a video. Click OK. A couple other things you want to know. Notice you can change the layout. So if I choose that, by default you have a one column page, but I could change this to a two column page. And now I can click and drag the, those blocks around on this page. Additionally, notice there's a little color palette here. So you can actually change the color heading on these blocks. And that's really nice because you can actually then tell the students always look in one particular color block for the video or always go to the green block for the websites. How you make a page is completely up to you and it's all about your creativity. Good luck with making pages.